proud to announce Rotary's new website. It's at the same place, but we've made some big changes. With a fresh, clean look, Rotary.org welcomes everyone who wants to learn more about Rotary. The new website explores what makes us unique. It shows how Rotary is doing good in communities around the world. It motivates visitors to imagine being part of the Rotary experience. And it invites them to engage with Rotary by connecting with a club in their hometown. Now, for those of you who are already members of Rotary, or just want to dig deeper, take the next step and sign into My Rotary. My Rotary provides member information and resources in one easy-to-use location. It features improved search and navigation, powered by Google. A secure way to connect to and collaborate with other Rotary members. Tools to help raise funds and attract volunteers to your club projects and share the good work you're doing with your community and the Rotary world. A personalized dashboard that knows where you are and takes you where you want to go swiftly and efficiently. And of course, Rotary stories from far and near. We've designed a new website to help you, our members, accomplish your Rotary tasks quickly and easily while bringing the Rotary world closer together. This is just the beginning. In the months ahead, we'll be expanding and improving the website even more. So stop by and let us know what you think. The new Rotary.org. And no, we're not finished. <laughs> <laughs> Now this next video talks about the site that the general public can access. Welcome everyone. My name is Peter Marcos and I'm the Chief Information Officer at Rotary International. What we wanted to do was put together a short video explaining some of the new features of Rotary.org as well as providing some insight into the new strategic direction that we're going with, that we're going to with the new website. First, let me start off with one of the key elements. We decided to split the old Rotary.org into two sites. When you now go to www.rotary.org, you're seeing a site that is meant for the general public and for people that want to learn about Rotary. If you're looking to conduct Rotary business, you'll, you will be able to find that, and that will be under, located under My Rotary. What I want to focus on in this short video is Rotary.org for the general public. When you come to this homepage, you are now going to see strong imagery, very high-level content, and a story that helps educate people that know little about Rotary about what a wonderful organization Rotary is. If you scroll down this main home page, you'll notice that it's broken out into three sections. The first of which is join leaders. The first thing that we talk about is Rotary clubs. We all know that Rotary begins and ends with the clubs in communities around the world. You're able to click on each one of these slides and learn more about the specific topic at hand. In this instance, a, a member of the general public can learn about why Rotary is organized with clubs and what the benefits of being a member of a club actually are in your community. As you continue to scroll down the main homepage, you begin to see other elements that are important to Rotary, such as emerging leaders, Rotaract, Interact, and the great work that Rotary does with youth. Now, bringing together many members of a community is more than just meeting you know, once a week at your local club meeting. We also talk about exchanging ideas. One of the things that makes Rotary great is the sharing of diverse perspectives. We bring together people of many different cultures and backgrounds and professions. And it's with that that, ma that makes Rotary great. We also have tools for people to learn about scholarships and the great work the Rotary Foundation does with Peace Fellowships. And let's not forget about the many exchange programs we do, specifically think about youth exchange and the impact that that has on the lives of thousands of, of youth every year. Now, we've talked, about, we've, talked, we've talked about leaders in your community. We've talked about them exchanging ideas. But we also want them to take action. That's a big part of what Rotary is all about. 
And as you continue down, you can begin to explore our causes. You can look for projects in your community to potentially join up with the club in your community and participate. And lastly, if you're another nonprofit and you want to partner with the organization, we give some guidance on how to reach out and begin to connect with Rotary. At the very end, as you've gone from the beginning of the story to the end, and you've learned about the organization, and you're interested in finding out more, we invite you to connect with us. Now, connecting with us does not mean that we're going to connect you with us here in Edmonton. If I type in Hinsdale, which is a community near where I live, it returns clubs in my area. And I can click on Hinsdale and go to a club profile page that tells me exactly where they meet, what time they meet, even provides me direct access to that club's website. And most importantly, there's a link to contact the club. Why? Because if somebody's interested in learning more about Rotary, the best person for them to contact is somebody in your club. The Rotarians are what make Rotary great, and we want them talking to somebody in their community as quickly as possible. So if I go back to the home page, you'll notice that the navigation structure is very light, clean, crisp. Our focus here is really to provide high-level information to people that want to learn about the organization. Now, if you're a long-time Rotarian and you're looking to conduct the business of Rotary, don't worry, we have you covered. One click here at the top and I'll take you over to My Rotary where the great depth and wealth of information is still available. I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into where we're going with the site. We want this to be a great tool that will educate the general public about the organization and hopefully garner lots of interest and in people reaching out to you about potentially learning more about Rotary. In our next video, we'll talk about My Rotary and making sure that you have access to the great resources that you need. Until next time. And that's what we're going next, is to the My Rotary part of the website.
and also will provide great continuity in the years ahead. We intend for this dashboard to grow over time. In the future, you may see information related to your semi-annual report, as well as possible grant activity that your club has ongoing. We think it would be a great place to find the most relevant information. I'm going to go to the top and go to My Profile. You can do that by clicking on your name at the very top. The new site is optimized to allow you to collaborate and connect with other Rotarians. You'll see here a picture that I uploaded. I clearly like sombreros. <laughs> it's some key information about me. Okay, let's scroll down here. Uh, but I'll leave it there. I don't want to give everybody my home address. You'll also notice here to the right, these are relevant links that were available on the old website that are really related to you as an individual. We make them available here under your profile because that's the most logical place that new users coming to a website would expect to find material related to them. We expect to add more here over time. You'll also notice tabs across the top to be able to connect with others and receive messages. This is laying the foundation for functionality that will be coming in the months ahead. What I want to do now is go over to exchange ideas. And what I will do is really focus on the menu structure, not go into detail on the pages. What we want to do today is simply provide a high-level overview. If you look at the menus under exchange ideas, we start with discussion groups. One of the things that's great about Rotary that I talked about in the first video is bringing together diverse perspectives, backgrounds, and cultures. We've added discussion group functionality to allow Rotarians to collaborate on the business of Rotary. Rest assured, we have no desire to replicate functionality that Facebook and LinkedIn have, but we've heard overwhelming demand from Rotarians to be able to have a place to have discussion that is limited to members of the organization. A great example, if you want to have a conversation about a council on legislation, possible resolution or enactment, that's a good conversation to have here on Rooter.org and not necessarily have it on Facebook or LinkedIn where members of the general public will look at it and not understand what we're talking about. Under Community Marketplace, we know that there are Rotarians that create great tools out there. MatchingGrants.org is a great example, created by a Rotarian out of California. How do you make those tools available to Rotarians around the world? How do they learn about them and be able to use them? Community Marketplace is just that. It's not to be a place for Rotarians to share the great tools that they create. We have events here which are great places to exchange ideas and have the ability to connect with clubs. Let me also over to take action. We moved from exchanging ideas and now we want to do something. If you want to give to the organization, very prominently free features here to the left. There are lots of ways to give, not just online. We know that projects are a key element of what Rotary Clubs do. We want to be able to provide resources regardless of where you are in the project life cycle, whether you have an idea, whether you're in the process of implementing a project, whether you're looking to uh, promote a project that you just completed. And you'll be able to see and volunteer on projects that other clubs are doing, utilizing the new idea platform that is available. If you're looking to do a foundation project, you can go to apply for grants. The very first line grant application tool will take you right into the online application process for a foundation grant. And you can click any of these links to learn more. And we also have public image grants that are still uh, available in a limited sense. And then lastly, there are other ways to take action that are not necessarily service projects. You can start a Rotary Act club or an Interact club. You could potentially create a fellowship. All of that is part of joining the Rotary movement. Let's move on to learning and reference. Most of the training material and tools that Rotarians use to learn or policies and procedures that they're looking for can be found here. This is the main reference section of the site and it has a wealth of information. We structured it to address multiple ways that people look for information. Many people look like to look by role. I'm a club president. Where do I find material that is relevant to me? You can search by club role. But another Rotarian may think of himself, I'm looking for membership information. How do I find that? You can learn by topic. We structured it to make it easy to get to the, way, to the information any way you're looking for it. We don't forget about the history of Rotary and how we're structured and leadership. All of that is available here. 
key policies and procedures as well. We have a new and improved document center. Should make it easy to find common documents. And lastly, learning center for e-learning and webinars are available through the learning and reference section as well. Moving on to manage. For those Rotarians that remember the member access portal and remember it fondly since it was there for a very long time, most of the links and functionality that you're now looking for to be able to administer and manage your clubs and districts and the reporting you need is now under manage club and district administration. Obviously grouped by club functions here, district administration under the district administration tab, and then contribution and reports carries a lot of um, uh, a lot of the information you need, whether it's a report uh, or you would like to, uh, to see other information relative, relative to recognition. Tools and templates. We have here tools that are useful to clubs, whether you need to download a new logo or simply want access to uh, images. We have uh, mobile apps. We have the community marketplace here as well. Why? Because again, if returns are creating tools, some people will think about it under here as opposed to where it was before, which was exchange ideas. Going back to manage, I don't want to forget to mention the shop is here. So if you're looking for publications from the organization, from Rotary International, you can find them here, as well as the information about licensed vendors and special offers. The next tab, the Rotary Foundation. You'll notice the menu structure is structured in such a way that if you're thinking about the organization in terms of exchanging ideas or taking action, you can get the functionality that way. But we know that there are also Rotarians that think of the organization as I'm doing a Rotary International task or I'm doing a foundation task. And we want to make sure that we make that easy to find as well. So if you're thinking to yourself, I want to apply for a foundation grant, we have a way forward for you as well. You would come to the Rotary Foundation tab, apply for grants, and you'll notice if I go to Grant Application Tool, it takes me to the same place. So again, what you're seeing in this menu structure is a lot of redundancy. And we're doing that because we know that people think about the information and the tasks they're trying to do very differently. Give is very prominent here, and obviously we have key information about the foundation and its history as well. And the very last tab, member news. This is home to the latest information and really targeted at news and features that are relevant to members. The Office of the President is located here, where you can keep up with the President's blog as well as their theme access to the regional magazines and newsletters, and obviously news and features and key announcements that we want you to be aware of. <coughs> we believe that this new information architecture is simpler and cleaner and will result in more Rotarians getting to the information they need quickly and easily. We do know that there will be some transition as people shift from a site that was around for many, many years to this new structure. But we do think that once people get to know the new site, they will find it to be a huge benefit. I do want to call out one last thing, which is we also have this alternate navigation path that is proven to be very popular. You're able to say, I am a, and pick a role. So I may say, I am a club president. And it presents you the most common options that a club president might have. We've gotten very good feedback on this section and it seems to be a very popular way to navigate the site. You can definitely use that as well. We hope you enjoyed this overview of the new My Rotary. We believe it will be easier for you to find the information you need and we'll go into more depth on some of the new features of the, of the website in the coming weeks. Thank you and until next time.